This time went from struggling to learn JavaScript to optimizing systems used by millions of people at top tech companies like TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft. The conventional learning path is broken, but there is a better way that nobody is talking about. Hi everyone, I am Trang, and this is exactly how I learned web development if I could start over. You may have seen those videos promising you will be a six figure developer in 90 days. But after interviews hundreds of candidates and building enterprise scale systems, I can tell you that is not how it works in real world. But there is a path that is actually lead to success. One that I have seen work repeatedly across three major tech companies that I worked with before. By the end of these videos, you will have an insider roadmap that cut to the noise and focus only on what actually matters. And I promise you this. What I'm about to share isn't what most coding gurus want you to hear, but it is what you need to know. The first thing you need to know about learning web development is something most YouTubers won't tell you about, because it is hurting their business model. Learning to code is not a 3-month journey to 6-figure salary. I have interviewed over 200 candidates at TikTok and the harsh reality is that coding is a lifelong learning process. Anyone promising you will master it in weeks is selling you something, usually it's an overpriced bootcamp or course. At Microsoft, even senior developers with 10 years of experience were constantly learning new technologies. I watched architectures with decades of experience spending their evenings studying new framework. The real skill is in knowing everything. This is knowing how to learn anything. There are some things we look for when hiring a TikTok that nobody is telling you about. We value developers who could admit when they didn't know some things and that quickly find the answer. In fact, during interviews, I would intentionally ask impossible questions just to see how candidates handle not knowing. Those who pretend to know everything were immediately rejected. But here is what interesting about web development that I discovered when building TikTok ad optimization systems. Web development has one of the lowest barriers to entrance in tech, while still offering incredible earnings potential. You can start creating real visible results within weeks, not masteries, but actual projects you can see and use. At TikTok, I have worked with several successful developers who were completely self-taught, including ones who become a senior engineer in just four years starting from zero background. Here is the unfiltered truth about my time at Amazon. The developers who advanced fastest were not those with the most impressive degrees. They were the one who built side projects that solve real problems. I once have a college build an internal tool that automates a tedious process, and it caught the attention of leadership faster than any amount of degrees credentials could have. So, what is the most efficient first step that I have since worked repeatedly across three major tech companies? Start with HTML and CSS through Free Code Camp's web design course. This is a free and comprehensive, with focused daily practice. You can grasp the fundamentals in about a month. This isn't just theories. This is exactly what works for several of my most successful college. When I was at Microsoft, we have the internal saying, CSS separates the good and the great. Most people focus on JavaScript framework, but truly exceptional developers have mastered CSS. I have seen candidates with advanced React knowledge fail interviews because they could not center a div properly. Don't skip this fundamental. Before we move on, if you find this approach refreshing is honest, hit that like button and subscribe for more real-world text insights from someone who actually works at these companies. I release new video every week with specific tactics I use to advance my career. After mastering HTML and CSS, most people make critical mistakes that I source repeatedly while reviewing portfolio at Microsoft. Mistakes that instantly send resumes to rejection pile. They jump straight into complex framework without understanding JavaScript fundamental. During tech interviews at Microsoft, I saw these problems in about 80% of candidates. Take a focused JavaScript course on Udemy or any similar platform. You don't need to become a JavaScript expert. 
but you should understand functions, array, objects, to manipulations, and especially asynchronous programming. At TikTok, we have a specific interview questions about the event loop in JavaScript that eliminates about 70% of candidates who claims to know React. You should understand how JavaScript works under the hood, especially promise a single weight and the event loop. This will put you ahead of 90% of self-taught developers. I recommend spending at least two full weeks just on asynchronous JavaScript before touching any framework. But knowing syntax isn't enough. The secrets that separate successful candidates I interview from the rest of interviewees were some things that I discovered when building Amazon notification systems overhaul. This is building the real project you actually care about in vanilla JavaScript, no framework yet. When I was learning, I built tools related to the problems I was solving at work. One specifically helps track notifications deliverabilities that eventually influence my work at Amazon. Choose something that really interests you. A finite tracker, recipe app, or budget tool, not just another Netflix clone. Here's a hiring secret from my times at Microsoft. We could immediately tell when someone has only viewed tutorial projects. They could explain how they follow instructions, but could not explain why certain decisions were made. View some things original, even if it's small. Then when you get asked in interviews, tell me about a challenging project. You will have genuine stories about overcoming real obstacles rather than tutorial roadblocks. When you finally move to learning React, Angular, and Vue, after building in vanilla JavaScript, you will truly understand why this framework exists and how they solve real problems you already face. At TikTok, we have to optimize rendering performance constantly. Developers who understood DOM manipulations in vanilla JavaScript could troubleshoot React rendering issue three times faster than those who only knew React. The most valuable developers on my teams at TikTok weren't the ones who know the most React hooks, as were the ones who could explain exactly what were happening under the hood when a component re-rendered it unnecessary. Once a week, challenge yourself to rebuild a small part of your framework code in vanilla JavaScript. This exercise alone will put you in the top 5% of candidates I have interviewed. Now, let me share some things that I have observed across TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft that most coding tutorials never mention, but was explicitly part of our hiring rubric. Technical skills are only half of the equations. The ability to read documents, you get properly, and explain complex concepts clearly was often more valuable than knowing every JavaScript method. In fact, at Microsoft, we have a saying, documentations it code bad friends. During my time at Microsoft, I saw brilliant coders get passovers for promotions because they could not effectively communicate their decisions. Here is a specific practice we implement at TikTok that transforms our team productivities. We require developers to write technical documentations before writing code. This doc first approach forces clear thinking and saves countless of development hours. Start practicing this now. Before writing any code for new features, write a short document explaining why you are building this and why. This habit alone will set you apart from 90% of junior developers. Speaking of which, there is a hot topic about education. I think I should address based on my experience interviewing over 200 candidates across these companies. I have interviewed and worked with successful developers from own background, self-taught, boot camps, graduates, and computer science degrees holder. The truth? The path matters less than job problem-solving skills and portfolio. At TikTok, some of our best developers were self-taught. While at Amazon, I work with billions computer science graduates. What unites them was their ability to solve problems independently. Here's what we actually look for when hiring at Microsoft. We have a specific scoring rubric for problem solving that evaluates how candidates approach problems higher than whether they got the final answer correctly. You should practice explaining your thinking process aloud when solving coding challenge. 
you can even record yourself if necessary. How you approach problems you don't immediately know how to solve matter more than memorized solutions. Finally, let me share the most important insights from optimizing TikTok ad systems that apply directly to learn web development, something that doubles the effectiveness of our highest performance engineers. Performance optimizations matter from day one. Understanding how to make website faster significantly impact our ad performance. We increase revenues by 20% primarily through performance improvements, not new features. As you learn, always ask, how can I make this more efficient? This mindset will set you apart, whether you are building personal projects or enterprise systems. At TikTok, we have engineers dedicated solely to performance. The most valuable skills they possess wasn't advanced knowledge, as well as their systematic approach to measurement. Install Lighthouse extension today and make us as a habit to test every project you build. Set Pacific's performance budget, no times under 2 seconds, first content from paints under 1 second. This matrix will directly tie into our business outcome, and understanding these relationships early in your careers will make you incredibly valuable. So, if I have to put everything I learned from optimizing systems used by millions of people into final piece of advice, this would be this. Focus on fundamental, build projects you care about, and learn to solve problems independently. The technologies will change, but this approach is timeless. It is how I went from struggling from basic JavaScript concepts to leading teams that optimize systems affect millions of users at TikTok. The single habit that I had built wasn't technical at all. Every Friday, I spend 30 minutes documenting what I learned that week. This learning loss becomes invaluable during interviews and performance review. Start this habit now, even if you are just beginning. This will compile over time and will give you a concrete record of your growth that you can leverage through your career. If you want more insider insights from my experience at these major tech companies, check out the links in the description for my detailed learning roadmap. It includes specific resources I recommend and technical interview questions we actually ask at TikTok, Amazon, and Microsoft. Hit the subscribe button if you want more honest tech careers advice with real industries insights. And let me know in the comments which specific aspects of web development you are struggling with. I read every comment and might make my next video address your questions directly. So until next time, hope you will have the happy time coding and learning web development. See you next week.